Jimmy Fallon welcomes Will Forte, NBC Tonight. I was literally told I wouldn't be able to walk as a kid. You keep working on your dreams. There's nothing holding you back. What's Vance Walker gonna do for an encore? I'm coming for that title. American Ninja Warrior, Monday on NBC and Peacock. What a season we are having because of people like you. Absolutely incredible. Tuesday on NBC and Peacock. NBC4 News at 11 starts with breaking news. And we are following two breaking news stories tonight. The first in La Puente, a possible fireworks explosion leaves at least three people injured. Then in South L.A., two officers were injured during a traffic stop, one of them grazed by a bullet. NBC4's Anastasia almost live in South L.A. with the latest on those LAPD officers. Anastasia? Colleen, this happened just about two hours ago. We know two LAPD officers are in the hospital right now after they were injured in a shooting that occurred during a traffic stop here on Broadway and 135th Street. This is uh, near West Athens in unincorporated LA County. We're told one of the officers has a wound from a bullet grazing his head. The other officer has an injury that may be from glass, possibly the window break. Breaking. But from News Chopper 4, we could see those officers loaded into an ambulance and taken to the hospital. Now, this traffic stop here took place at about 9 p.m. LAPD says the officers did exchange fire with the shooters in the car, but we do not know if they were also injured. As of right now, they are not able to provide any suspect uh, shooter descriptions or even a description of the vehicle that they are looking for. This is uh, still closed off here in this really essentially unincorporated area that's very industrial. Uh, we've seen it several times on the news with lots of the RVs that have moved in since the pandemic here. This is the area and as you can see behind me still blocked off as they are investigating and searching for these suspects tonight. Reporting live here in South LA, I'm Anastasia Olmos, NBC4 News. All right, Anastasia, thank you. And we have more breaking news this time in La Puente. At least three Three people were taken to a hospital after a possible fireworks explosion there. This happened in La Puente Park. Ileana Moreno overhead right now in News Chopper 4. Ileana? Colleen, we're uh, over La Puente. This is going to be, as you said, a large city park here that is adjacent to La Puente High School. Now, I'm zooming in on uh, some fireworks here where we believe that a professional fireworks show was taking place at the culmination of the city's 3rd of July family-friendly July 3rd event here to celebrate the holiday when something apparently went wrong. Now, we do have some footage to show you of uh, what it looked like when we were overhead this incident happened at about 9.45, and that is when uh, we saw that the LA County Fire Department responded to the scene and treated three people here before transporting them to the hospital. The severity of their injuries are unknown at this time, but what I want to show you is now the response here, where you'll see that the fire department, as well as the police department, they're kind of hanging back a little bit, because again, it, we're still seeing something burning there amongst the fireworks, and it's unclear exactly what went wrong that caused those three people to be injured tonight here in La Puente. Reporting live from News Chopper 4, I'm Eliana Marino. Let's send it back down to you in the studio. All right, Eliana, thank you for that. Very busy night around Southern California. More breaking news. At least five people were rescued at the breakwater in Long Beach tonight. Firefighters say a boat, a pleasure boat, sank in Alamitos Bay. There were a total of 12 people on board this boat. Four patients were taken to the hospital. One of them is reportedly in critical condition. We're still waiting to hear more about the condition of the other patients who were transported. We're also closely watching the extreme weather. You can expect another scorcher for the 4th of July. Meteorologist Melissa McGee is tracking the heat warnings for our area. Melissa. Colleen, it's hot tomorrow, but it's hotter once we get into Friday and into Saturday. So this heat will continue for the rest of our holiday weekend. Here is a picture outside as we are looking live and you can see all of the city lights below downtown Los Angeles all the way there in the distance. Checking in on Malibu right now, coming in at uh, the upper 60s. Same thing for Burbank and at 66.